Yeah, Trina was just a child, man. She was in the eighth grade when McElroy showed interest in her. Obviously, both Trina and her parents were adamantly opposed to Ken having any kind of relationship with Trina. But still, he repeatedly found her alone and raped her. And just an awful, awful human being. When her parents still refused to allow any kind of relationship between the two, he would go to the family home and burn it to the ground in an effort to intimidate the family into allowing a relationship. So as if that wasn't enough, they still refused. So he ended up killing the family dog as a final effort to scare the family into submission. This dude's a lunatic. So he's raping their daughter and wants her to be married with him. So as a way to coerce the family into allowing this to happen, he burns down their home and shoots their family dog. Yeah, and they at, end up allowing. At this time, he's still married to his previous wife, who he got together with when she was well younger than 16, before the age of consent. So, yeah. and You know, John, people think about doing awful things all the time, but this guy did it. Like, he thought, well... I'll burn their house down to try to convince them. Yeah. And you and I would say, well, that's ludicrous. Certainly everybody's going to say that. Not everybody, just crazy people. Yeah. But he did it. He did it. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely insane. Yeah. I mean, so this girl's 12 years old. Of course, this isn't legal, but it's also not legal because like you said, he's still technically and legally married to his second wife, Alice. But, you know, they get a divorce, and I guess her parents are able to sign a consent form, which, thank God, I'm not very familiar with, but I guess that's that's allowed, and, and they end up getting married. He forced Trina to drop out of school in the ninth grade and impregnated her by the time she was 14. When Trina's family filed statutory rape charges, he finally divorced his second wife and then legally married Trina to avoid charges. Thank you for listening to this preview of True Crime Cast. You can find the rest of this episode, as well as over 200 other episodes, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. You've listened to True Crime Cast, distributed by Stoveleg Media. Check out Stoveleg.com to find out more about your hosts and to find other podcasts to listen to. Stoveleg Media, igniting conversation.